Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sierra. Welcome back to Cantwell Beauty. If this is your first time visiting, I just want to say thank you. If this is a returning visit, I want to say thank you as well. My subscriber count seems to be going up pretty steadily for me. Um, I know I still have under 100 subscribers, but I still love turning out videos. I still love showing you guys my collection. So let's dive into today's video. It is the highlighter collection. So I do have some highlighter palettes, I have some single highlighters, and I'm just gonna go through each one and show you what I have. I'm gonna start with the highlighter that started it all for me. That is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter, and it's a two-panned uh, highlighter that looks like that. And I love this thing. I used it all the time. I know it's expired, but I don't care. I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons. Um, I bought this and it occurred to me when I bought it, I'm like, oh, I can spend my money on high-end things because it's my money and I can do what I want. I think this highlighter was like $30 or something, but when I bought it, I was in love um, and I just can't say enough good things about it. It's got a pink, like I showed you, and a white in there. And if you mix them up together, they show a really nice like champagne-y color. So I really enjoy this. I'm pretty sure it's still available. If it's not, I apologize, but this is the highlighter that started it all for me. Now I'm gonna go into my palettes. I have more singles, but I just wanted to show you the first highlighter that started it all. And now I'm gonna go into my palettes. So um, this one actually showed up in my blush collection video that I posted a little while ago, but I wanted to show it to you because it also has highlighters in it. And yes, it will show up in my bronzers video. But anyway, there's two highlighters in here um, that are very pretty. Um, they're lighter um, than I would say an Ofra highlight or something like that, but still very pretty. I have the Fiona Styles Multi-Dimensional Color Palette. Now this one has blushes and highlighters in it. So it looks like that. Um, this is a discontinued brand, so I won't talk too much about it, but the formulas were so good. I'm very disappointed that the brand is no longer. I've got this Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. Um, this one actually also showed up in my blush video because it has a blush in it. But um, there's highlighters in here that I haven't really used. I think I said in the blush video that I haven't really used this, this palette and I really haven't. So I'm definitely holding on to it because I want to use it, so. I've got the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette and this one has beautiful highlights anytime i do a pink eye look i use these highlighters one's called beach nectar and one's called rose gold and they are so pretty if you have this palette you know what i'm talking about i believe it was limited edition so it's no longer available but beautiful formula becca's i mean becca is top of the line when it comes to highlighters so i've got the original nicole guerrero palette with anastasia beverly hills it's their glow kit now this one is expired for sure but i keep it because they reinstated it but i'm not going to spend 40 dollars again to buy it when these work perfectly fine forever lit is the perfect inner corner highlight i didn't use it today i used something else um, that i'll talk about in a bit but every shade in here is good every shade the formula is to die for very very pigmented so if you're looking for a bam highlight i would definitely recommend anastasia beverly hills and nicole guerrero glow kit for sure another formula i became a quick fan of was the jacqueline hill um, jacqueline cosmetics line um, i got the flash palette and it looks like this Try not to blind you. The packaging here is very, very bright. So anyway, every color in there, again, is beautiful. Today I used Iced on my cheek and then in my inner corner and then under my brow bone, I used the shade Gleam. So I used two colors from the Flash palette today. Speaking of Jaclyn Hill, I have the original Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette. And this one showed up in my blush palette collection video as well because it has blushes and a bronzer, but it also has a highlighter, which I hit major pan on, and then another highlighter. So it's got Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop are the two highlighters in there. Again, Becca has a phenomenal highlighter formula and I love it. So I'm holding on to this palette forever. A palette I got from Morphe a long time ago was the, I believe it's Desi Danger palette. And it looks like this. I didn't use this as much because I didn't think the highlighters were that pigmented, but um, yeah, it was, it was cute. I definitely used it a few times. I can see that I used a bunch of shades, but um, I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. But anyway, it was still a, a decent palette. I have another Anastasia Glow Kit. It's That Glow and it's got four colors in there. 
and it looks like this. Another palette I thought I would use a lot more than I did. I know I use the color Sunburst, this yellow color, quite a bit. However, I think I should use it a lot more than I do. Um, it's now expired because I've had it past a 12 month expiration, but I still hold on to it because I can use it. I've got the Jeffree Star um, 24 Karat Skin Frost Pro Palette, and it looks like that. It's got six colors in there. A lot of them are deeper, so um, I would use them as eyeshadows. Um, I did tend to use Sarcophagus and King Tut. However, colors like Liberace and Dark Horse um, here are a lot darker, so I probably wouldn't use those as highlighters, but it's still a beautiful palette. I've got a palette from Naked Cosmetics, and this is just called their Holographic Highlighter Collection. This one I think I got in a BoxyCharm. I really don't remember ever using this because the colors are quite colorful and bright. Um, they're like, I don't know, a peach, a purple, a pink, a green, a blue, and a yellow, and I just don't find really a need for that. Maybe I'll declutter this one um, because I don't even see that I've swatched this, so I'm probably not going to hold on to that one. We've got Pure Sculptor Highlight and Contour Palette. In here it has two like bronzer or contour shades and then over here it's got highlighter shades. I haven't used this yet either so I'm probably going to donate this one. I don't see that I swatched them so um, it's cute but I, I just haven't used it. I think I got that in a BoxyCharm as well. A palette that I really enjoy is by Profusion. It's just their simple highlight palette. Um, it has five colors in it and it's a little bit of a dusty formula but it's still very pretty and i think this was five dollars or something like that so it's definitely a worthwhile brand and a worthwhile formula if you're looking to try out something that's drugstore or affordable one of the favorite pieces in my collection is the kathleen lights makeup geek highlighter palette now this one is no longer available unfortunately but this is a beautiful formula beautiful color choices and just beautiful layout everything about it was gorgeous as soon as i saw it i knew i had to have it um it's got three colors here and they're really designed for different skin shades like light medium dark so Kathleen really thought about everybody when she designed this palette and I just love it so um, I'm definitely holding on to this one I think it's cute when Ulta Beauty releases little palettes like this um, I don't even know when I got this I think it came with like a free gift or something but it's got like a highlighter in the center and then it's got like a bronzer and some sort of translucent powder here, but um, it's just cute and I like it, so I keep it as part of my collection. I've got the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo, and one of them in here, so it's a matte powder followed by a glow powder. I don't know if it really counts as a highlight, but I keep it with my highlights because it does glow your face up a little bit, so if you're looking for a little bit of a glow up, um, I would go for this powder here by Bare Minerals. I've got the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette, and I love this palette. It smells really good. The highlighter works okay. Um, it doesn't really show like a huge shine, I wouldn't say, but um, it's still very pretty. Um, it does have a bronzer and a blush in here too, but the highlighter is what we're talking about today. So um, yeah, as far as pigment goes, I would say it's like a mid-tone to like a lighter, lighter highlighter. I've got two by Jessica Leapskin. I've got one that's called the Illuminating Face Highlighter in Rose Gold. Now this one showed up in my blush collection video because I think it's more of a blush or blush topper just because of how pink it is. Can you see that? Yeah. So it's more of a blush to me, but um, if you have deeper skin tone, obviously you can use it as a highlighter. Then this one is called Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. Try to open that. Um, so we've got rose quartz here and then chocolate diamond over here. Um, I have used it quite a bit. I do think it's very pigmented. Um, the formula is nice. I got them both in BoxyCharms because it's a brand that I definitely had never heard of. But like I said, um, good formula. Back to Makeup Geek, I've got one here. It's called Psychedelic. It's a dual chrome highlighter. You can kind of see the dual chrome. I'm hoping it picks up on camera. It's like a white and then it has like greenish orange highlights to it. I don't know. Um, it's really cute. The name is cute. The formula is really pigmented, so do a light hand with these Makeup Geek highlighters. I've got one from the Primark brand. It's called PS, and this is called Bashful, and I used this in my Primark video when I did a try-on, and I liked it. Um, I think it's very dusty, and I remember it uh, I don't know if it showed up or not that well, um, but it is very pink, so it's not something that I would wear on the regular, but um, it's still cute. 
I've got a Kylie Jenner Kylie Lighter or whatever they're called um, by Salted. It's called Salted Caramel. And I really enjoy the highlighters and blushes from her line. Um, this is quite old. Um, I'm pre pretty sure it's expired. Yeah, 12 months. But I hold on to it because I really like the formula and it still works for me. I've got the My Little Pony ColourPop um, pressed powder face highlighter. And it looks like that. Not something I wear on the regular, but I really enjoyed that collection. So, and the packaging is too cute. Um, it looks like that. It's got the ponies on the front and it's just cute and I love it. So I hold on to it for that reason. I've got the pretty vulgar swim shimmering swan in 126 glow up and it looks like that i believe i got this in a boxy charm and it's cute uh not something that i really use on the regular but it is very pretty it's like a champagne -y shade i had to check it because i honestly didn't remember but um something that i put in rotation so i do use it once in a while just not all the time i have the ever popular mary luminizer by the balm and it of course the old go to packaging looks like that and then the inside this was the highlighter forever um, before like Becca came out and before I mean I think they were still around like when Mac had come out with highlighters and stuff like that but Mary Luminizer was very very popular back in the day so I had to of course add that to my collection um, for those of you wondering where are your Ofra highlighters um, so I only have two I have Rodeo Drive and I have Everglow which was the collaboration with um, Nikki Tutorials and that's what Everglow looks like and it's got the three shades there or you can mix them for like a really beautiful highlight and then Rodeo Drive is like the highlighter if you're looking for a BAM highlight to just brighten up your life I would say go for Rodeo Drive by Ofra you won't regret it. Then I have a MAC highlighter from a holiday collection. It's called Happy Go Dazzlingly. And it's a very light highlighter. I wouldn't say it packs much punch, um, but it's still very, very pretty. If you're looking for like a lighter look, I would say the MAC highlights um, like for the holiday collections are kind of something to, to move towards. Then I have a Laura Geller highlighter. It is called Diamond Dust. It's a baked gelato swirl illuminator. Now this one feels like it's coming out of the packaging and it is so i'm not gonna like try to lift it too much but um it's like almost like a dual chrome it's got like rainbow colors going through it but the main color is the base is like a white i of course have fenty beauty trophy wife now i don't use this one as a highlighter um, I use it mostly, I can't even get it open. I use it mostly as a, an eyeshadow, but um, so it's an expensive eyeshadow, but it's called Trophy White, it, it, Trophy Wife, and it's the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. This is the highlighter everyone had to have when it came out, so just beautiful. I love it. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter, probably one of my favorites in my collection because the color is beautiful, the formula is beautiful, the punch it packs is beautiful. It just is is the perfect highlight. I've got a loose highlighter from Cougar, which I've really never even heard of, but it's called Diamond Kiss, and it's got a 30-month expiration date on it, so I haven't used this. I believe it came in a BoxyCharm, so I will use it in the future. It's just not something that I've really ever ever used. So I don't use loose highlighters that often. Having said that, I will show you three loose highlighters. <laughs> um, so these are from Artist Couture. I have the shade Illuminati, I have Summer Haze, and I have the collaboration with Jackie Ina called La Peach. So I enjoy probably La Peach the most because of its peach nature, and I just like Jackie Ina. I think she's very enjoyable. So next I'll show you my Becca highlighters. I have four of those. I have the one that was the splits one with Jaclyn Hill, and it's got a blush in there and a highlighter. This highlighter is Prosecco Pop. Then I have um, Champagne Pop, which was the anniversary one. It's got like a champagne bottle in there, like pressed in the pattern of the highlighter, which is super cute. Then I have another Champagne Pop because you can never have too many. Oh, right. This one broke. So that one's completely broken and I pressed it back in and kept it because it's Champagne Pop. Let's get real. And then I also have another Prosecco Pop. So that's what that one looks like. Prosecco Pop is like lighter and not as champagne-y as Champagne Pop. Then I also have this Color Pop Duo that I can't remember the name of, but it's got a highlighter in here and a blush and it's really cute. I like it. The highlighters from Color Pop are really cute. I actually really like their formula. 
Then I have four Jeffree Star highlighters. Um, I have Crystal Ball, which is the whitest shade on planet Earth. Um, if you've never tried Jeffree Star, um, they are the most pigmented highlighters I've ever used. Um, we have Eclipse, which was the collaboration with um, Manny MUA back when they were pals. Then I have Peach Goddess, which is one of my favorite highlighters because of its peach nature. I just think it's really, really beautiful. And then I have um, Summer Snow Cone, which is a very weird yellow shade, but I had to have it when I saw it, so very beautiful. Then the last highlighters I have here are by ColourPop. And I have the two from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, which are on the cusp and fire, and they're beautiful. Um, one's like a pinkier shade and one is a yellow or orange shade, which they're very pretty. If you've never tried the Super Shock Cheek formula, it's like a kind of like their super shock shadows it's got like that spongy texture to it so you really it's best to apply them with your fingers um so i also have flexitarian which is probably their most popular one i'm guessing it's very very bright it's a great inner corner highlight, which is what I use it for. You can see I've dipped my brush in there for inner corner highlights, but mostly I use it with my hands to apply it to my cheeks. And then I have, oh, I have another Flexitarian because I think it was getting old. So I held on to it for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um, I should probably get rid of that. But anyway, so I have two Flexitarians. And then I have another one called Parasol, which is a little bit pinker than Flexitarian. It's a little bit deeper. That's it, guys. That's my entire highlighter collection. I hope you enjoyed this short, but sweet video. If you did like the video, do me a favor, subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what was your favorite highlighter. Maybe if you want to see my bronzer collection or you've seen my blush collection and you're interested in some more of my makeup collection videos, I don't know. Just leave me a comment, let me know um, how I'm doing. Um, and don't forget, tell a friend and I am Sierra. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <music>